Jeff Gerwitz here with Modern Tactical Shooting. Now, if you're looking for an easy to set up range training session that works on balancing speed and accuracy with your carbine or rifle, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to combine all the drills I've shown in separate YouTube videos into one full-blown range training session. Uh, basically starting with 15 rounds of fury, which is a great beginning warm-up drill, and ending on running diamond version 2, which combines everything you need almost, uh, whether it's competitive or tactical shooting. You're doing multiple shots and multiple targets, multiple distances, shooting then moving, shooting on the move, small percentage headshots, and you can also work in transitions and reloads if you'd like. All right, so before we cut to the range clips, I do want to talk a little bit about the methodology behind these drills. Uh, I've gotten a few comments on why they're so short, and that is for two reasons. The first being is time, and the second being space. Now, I don't like setting up, you know, large running gun drills that take 30 minutes to set up, only to take, you know, less than a minute to shoot. That's not a good use of time. I'd rather, you know, set up quick, short stages that take less than, a, you know, five minutes to set up, uh, that I can set up, run through, and then just by adding a few targets and changing the cones around, you basically have a whole new drill. And the other reason is space. You know, most of us do not have access to a large training facility with super large bays. It's just not feasible to set up some large run and gun. There are, there is a time and place for large run and guns, but uh, these drills, all you need is a 25 by 25 yard bay and you're good to go. So easy, quick, fast, you know, to set up drills. So let's cut to the video. I kick it off with 15 rounds of fury. I work through the drills one time. Let's hit it. 15 rounds of fury, five rounds at the 20, five rounds at the 10, five rounds moving forward, nine seconds with duty gun, seven seconds with race gun. Let's go. I got a 622. I've got one C. So that puts me at what, 672. Made the seven seconds. Let's move on to the next drill. All right, I added some targets. I'm pasting up only misses and shots on the line. Next up is the nine shot drill. Three targets, three shots each, starting in the center target first, part time, three seconds or under. Let's go. And I think I blazed four rounds on that first target. We'll have to check the replay. But I'm a 236. And I think my hits are clean. Let's check it out. Clean on the left. Clean in the center. Clean on the right. Uh, if I fired those four rounds, the first one, uh, I'm still going to take it. Because that's a 236. All right, nine shot drill part two. You can shoot this. Uh, two different ways. One way is three targets, three shots each from the 10 yard line, then sprint forward to the five yard line and repeat, starting on the center target, or on buzzer at the 10 yard line, shooting while moving to the five yard line, three shots, three targets each, and at the five yard line, repeat, three shots, three targets each, starting the center one first. I'm gonna shoot it where I shoot the three from the 10, sprint forward, three at the five. Part time is eight seconds, that's pretty stout. Let's go. I got two C's, which is a second, but I'm a 6'11", so let's check out the targets. Clean on the left, clean center, and had two C's at the second, but puts me at a 7'11". I still made the time, part-time eight seconds. Let's move on to the next drill. Add two drills, single target, starting at the 25-yard line. You're gonna sprint to a 20-yard cone, shoot two shots. Sprint to the 15 yard cone, shoot four shots. Sprint to a 10 yard cone, shoot six shots. You're adding two shots each yard line, hence the add two title. Part time is 12 seconds, let's do it. And 
looks like I'm clean. 9-11, got some shots right in the line, but I think I'm clean. Yep. 9-11, not too shabby. Let's move on. All right, next up, the outer inner drill. I added two more targets. Same setup as the add two. Going to sprint from the 25 yard line to the 20 yard line, shoot the outer two targets with two shots each, then the inner, sprint to the 15 yard cone, start in the inner target with two shots, then the outer two, two, and then finish at the 10 yard cone with outer two targets, two shots each with the inner with two. Part time, 18 seconds. Let's see what I got. I think I am clean again. And 11.68, let's check out the targets. Clean on the left. Clean, oh, one C. And clean on the right. So that's a half a second. Puts me just over 12 seconds, part time 18. Very easy part time. Maybe I'll have to start chopping it down to maybe 15 seconds as a standard. Let's move on to Running Diamond version 1. All right, Running Diamond version 1, basically setting up a giant diamond, starting at the 20-yard line with the cones. Shoot two shots to two targets each, starting on the center target first each time from each cone. The closest cone, one shot to each head. I'm going to work in a bolt lock reload on this one just to spice things up. Part time is 20 seconds. My part time is 1761. Let's check out the targets. All right, one C on the left, two C's, and clean. So that's a second and a half on top of my 1761. So that's 18, puts me uh, just over 19 seconds. I'm under the 20. I'll take it. Running Diamond version two, same setup, same part time of 20 seconds, but this time you're only going to shoot the center target while moving to the next cone. I like to run left all the time since I'm a lefty, but you can run either left or right cone when starting out, that's up to you, the shooter. Again, shoot the center target with two shots each while moving to the next cone. At the closest cone, each target gets one headshot. Let's see what I got. I barely got my left head. I saw that. A 14.59. Let's check out the hits. All right, clean on the left. One C, half a second. And clean on the center. Again, that was a 14.59. So half a second puts me, uh, you know, right around the 15 mark. I'll take it. So hopefully you've seen in these drills the key to what I think is good marksmanship, and that is a balance of speed and accuracy. That's nothing new. Most of your trainers are going to talk about balancing speed and accuracy. The key is you got to have drills that support you know reaching that goal, and I think these rifle drills do that. And a, a key to the success is you got to be able to you know run it against a pro timer. Using a pro timer quantifies you know if this if you're you know progressing in your training. And, you know, use it to gauge and measure your progress. If you're just, you know, practicing accuracy with no time standards, you're going to fall into a trap of, you know, being able to, you know, keyhole targets, but at a, a time standard that is, you know, not best suited for either competition or, you know, a tactical scenario. 
You know, nobody's going to be gauging you in combat with a pro timer, but, you know, he who shoots the fastest and the most accurate has the best chance of winning in a gunfight. So you've got to be able to balance both speed and accuracy. And that's why I think, you know, it's a necessity to work with a pro timer, you know, in your training regime. All right, one last thing. Uh, it would be disingenuous if I did not mention the rifle in the video. I've talked about it numerous times in my other videos. It is my Fur Franz 14.5 inch, you know, race gun. And this gun has zero recoil at all. And these drills are all based off of, you know, time standards that one can make with a, you know, mil spec style carbine like this M4 clone. So, you know, if I were to run all these drills, you would see I would take at least two or three seconds longer on some of the longer drills to get it done with this. Just because this Fur Franz rifle, you know, it's set up for three gun, zero recoil. And, you know, the equipment and the gun you use does affect how fast you can shoot. You know, that's why, you know, in competition, these race guns are, you know, the gun that shooters want to use. So the time standards for these drills they're all based off of two shots a second and about a second to move every, you know, three steps. So if you look at running diamond, you know, if you count it up, you know, you have to take six shots from each cone. The closest cone, you take three shots, a lot, two shots per second, and you work in the, you know, the distances, the movement, about two seconds, a second and a half to get to each cone. It comes out to 20 seconds. Now, 15 rounds of fury, there's a version two for the race gun time. But again, all the times are built off of, you know, an intermediate level and a duty style AR. And that is on purpose. That's so you can, you know, these times are all just generated. They're not pass or fail. They're just, you know, something to get to a competent level and then eventually crush. Uh, so have at it with these drills. Have fun with them. And, you know, post what you think about these drills down in the comments. I do check them out. All right, at the end of this video, I'm also going to include JPEGs of the instruction sheets for these drills. So you can take screenshots, go out and try them at the range. Also, if you haven't checked out all the videos on my channel, Modern Tactical Shooting yet, there are individual vid videos of every rifle drill I've executed thus far to include uh, detailed explanations, how to set up the drill and the standards for the drill. So go ahead and check out those videos. Now, enough watching me go out, hit the range, try these drills, 114 rounds, uh, let me know down in the comments when you crush it. As always, I'm Jeff Gerwich, and thanks for watching.